Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the system of linear equations. So after discussing the graph of linear equation, and of course writing linear equation, we have the system of linear equations. So this will be the introduction video for our topic. So let us define what is a linear a system of linear equations. A set of two or more linear equations that have variables in common. So notice that we have two or more linear equations. So possibly we have three equations or two equations or more. And notice that since this is a linear equation, so we will also be uh, encountering two, with two variables or with three variables. Now, to further understand, let's have this example. We're going to test whether the solution or the given points is a solution of our linear equation. So let's say we have determined whether each ordered pair is a solution of the system of equations x plus 2y is equal to 8 and 5x minus 2y is equal to 4. So we have our first equation here and the second equation. Now, since given the points, let's say 1, 2, and 3, we're just going to substitute our values for our x and y. So since this is a point, this is our x and our y. So get the equations. So we have x plus 2y is equal to 8, and the other one is 5x minus 2y is equal to positive 4. Now, in our equation 1, we need to substitute the x and y. So our x is 0 plus 2 times our y is 4 is equal to 8. So 0, 0 plus 2 times 4. So 0 plus 2 times 4, that is 8, is equal to 8. 0 plus 8 is 8, is equal to 8. So they are equal. That means 0 is a solution of this. Now, let's check our y. So 5 times 0 minus 2 times y is 4, is equal to 4. 5 times 0, that is 0, minus negative 2 times 4, this is 8, is equal to 4. Negative 8 is not equal to 4. So this is true, while the other one is false. So that means uh, 0, 4 is not a solution. Of the system of equation. Why? Because it gives us false answer in our equation number two. And now let us proceed in our equation uh, problem number two. <laughs> and now let us proceed in our problem number two. We have a point 4, 8. So this is our x and this is our y. Copying our equation one, so x plus 2y is equal to 8, and the other one, 5x minus 2y is equal to 4. Now substitute. So 4 plus 2 times 8 is equal to 8. So 4 plus 2 times 8 is 16. 8, so 20 is not equal to 8. False. So in our first equation, it gives us a false answer. We're going to test for the x and y. So automatically, this is not the solution of our system of equations. Now let us check the other equation. So 5 times 4 minus 2 times 8 is equal to 4. 5 times 4 this is 20. Negative 2 times 8, 16 is equal to 4. 
20 minus 16, 4 is equal to 4. This is true. Although the other equation gives us a true answer, it's still the 4 and 8 is not a solution of the given system of equation. Why? Because this gives us a false while testing our equation. Just like in our example number one. Next, let us try example number three or the problem number three. Copy x plus 2y is equal to 8. And 5x minus 2y is equal to 4. Now substitute. So 2 plus 2 times our y is 3 is equal to 8. 2 plus 2 times 3 is 6 is equal to 8. 2 plus 6, 8 is equal to 8. So this is correct. Now let us check the other equation. 5 times 2 minus 2 times 3 is equal to 4. 5 times 2, this is 10 minus negative 2 times 3 times 3, 6 is equal to 4. So 4 is equal to 4, which is also true. So, both equations are true when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. Therefore, 2 and 2 comma 3 is the solution of the system of equation, so the given system of equation. So you will be needing this process to check your answer in solving our linear equation with two or three variables. So you need to master the process in substitution. Now, we're going to proceed in the graph of our system of linear equation. In system of linear equation, if we're going to graph, uh, these are the things that you must know. So, if you will encounter a graph like this one, the intersecting line, that means the line intersects at exactly one point, the slope of the lines are different, of course, because the slope of this line is different from the slope of the second line. And for the classification of system, it is consistent and independent. And number of solutions, we have only one. Or this is also called the unique solution. Because we only have a point, exactly one point, that the two lines intersect. And that is our solution. And if you're going to encounter a graph like this one, so notice that the two lines coincide each other. That's what we call the coinciding lines. Our slope, our same slope, and this in y intercept. Because if you notice, it is on uh, this line is only one line that coincide and because these are lines that coincide to each other and of course noticing our line that is consistent and dependent and for the number of solution we have infinite many solution so if we're going to extend this so we will come up with many or infinite many solution and the parallel lines, the slope are the same, but the y-intercept are different. And for the classification of system, we have the inconsistent, and the number of solution, there is none. Because the two points will never touch each other. That's the parallel lines. To better understand, kindly watch the next video the solving linear equation with two variables and its graph